Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here. It is a snow day in Jerusalem. We woke up to the city covered in white as it was forecast. I'm just walking here through the neighborhood of Baca in South Jerusalem. I'm on my way to the first station. I want to check out what's happening there. Apparently the snow party and uh, the city is great. It's uh, covered in white snow and everybody's out enjoying it. I don't know, I don't know if anyone's actually working today. So I'm going to partake in the fun myself too. As you guys can see, I'm sort of walking the middle of the road like this guy ahead of me because the pavement is just kind of impossible to navigate if I just go onto the road here I've never done a video here before back is lovely it's like this village ice cream store Kahlo bus stop but this is the situation we have here at the moment after the overnight snow accumulation a um, little bit off to later start than I predicted or hoped unfortunately uh, it's already started raining Just to show you how thick I mean comparatively speaking compared to last season's snowfall it's pretty thick so there are vigilantes if that's the wrong word but there is local neighborhood people are just kind of coming out with their own tools to attempt to clean off some of the Accumulation, you can see the actual roads have been cleared professionally using snow clouds, snow plows, um, but to try to get the footpath in a way you can use them. There's people just kind of doing their best. Um, I'm walking towards the first station uh, because apparently they were advertising a snow party a little bit early in the morning to. Sponsored by some beer companies. A little bit early in the day to think about drinking beer, but uh, this is a special occurrence. Wow, look at the accumulation here. It's crazy. So, <clears throat> as to how often this happens, uh, I've been living in Jerusalem for six going on seven years. The very first year I came, we actually had like a decent snowstorm. Um, and then I remember a few years where it just didn't snow at all. Last year we had one. I don't think we got this much snow. So this is, you can see the grounds of this building here. Are just covered in snow so the road I'm walking on for those who don't know Jerusalem is Bethlehem Road in Hebrew this one runs parallel to Hebron Road it's crazy because there's um, I'm coming in here oh why there's like these rivers of freezing cold water my shoes are now just completely drenched but it's not as cold as it was yesterday I thought I was gonna get frostbite it was so cold last night anyway getting back to them now I'm now doing some footpath navigation I kind of like this it reminds me a little bit about of uh, Yom Kippur when they close all the roads and people pedestrians will just walk on any road because there's kind of this unofficial tradition in which uh motorists know the people are like going to be on the road so you'll see people on like the, the highways that's a little bit what like it is you can see all the pedestrians are just using the road i'm just going to go back to it because it's like really really difficult to wade through the snow here anyway we're this is bethlehem road i don't think as i said i've done a video here before and we're walking in the direction of the first station. I'm going to put my umbrella because technically that's a government building. It's the Mint. They have a sign up saying don't film. That's a good, uh, clever censorship tool. You can see the runoff from the melted snow beginning to form. Ooh, I need gloves. So this is what it looks like, Jerusalem in the snow. 
Coming up ahead of us, we have a monastery. I know this area pretty well. We're past the government mint, so I can film now. Uh, this is a power plant of some variety. This is great, it's sort of a preview of <coughs> what life would be like if uh, What a day to be alive. I was supposed to be in Tel Aviv this morning. I had a meeting scheduled for 12, and I just wrote to the uh, person I was meeting to say I wouldn't be able to come because even if I want to, I can't get there. The buses aren't running. Usually on this road, you see bus number seven. So for me to get to Tel Aviv, I either drive, which I hate. I find driving in Israel super stressful because people drive like maniacs here. <clears throat> or I have to get a bus to the train station then I get a train and that I can't do that if there's no um, bus is running and I think the trains aren't running so there's basically no way and the police have closed off the roads going out of Jerusalem so we've two roads to Tel Aviv they're road 1 and road 443 and to the best of my knowledge they're both closed so I just like it ain't happening. I am doing a Zoom meeting, so I gotta get back home soon. We're meeting on Zoom instead. But other than that, I would love to go to drink some beer in the snow in the morning. So after my meeting, I will, I will uh, go and do that. I live in this direction. So I'm gonna return and loop back um, because I just wanted to record for posterity a little bit of the scene here um, I see there's been tons and tons of videos on YouTube about the snow in Jerusalem so I'm mostly doing this for my own memories I would love to um, I might go down to Abu Tor in a little bit and we can see the view over the old city this is what the sky is looking nice crazy that there's like patches of blue peeking through Unfortunately, I think that this is uh, it in terms of the snow. It's like a one day snow event. It was forecast that uh, the most heavy or the heaviest snowfall was going to be overnight. And then it was going to gradually melt in the morning, which is exactly, exactly what's occurred. It's going to be like, rainy now for the rest of the day here Ooh, I just ran into like a whole ice patch this is my footwear currently completely waterlogged and freezing water it's not really worth like properly equipping yourself for snow in Jerusalem because or, for, or winter for that matter it just doesn't get that cold and these kind of snow events are like once every few years so oh my god my feet are like icicles now it's just like submerging in a icicle bath all right this is a really nice street and back is a really nice neighborhood back is kind of what I picture suburbs should look like. It's got a town center. It's got like a few little restaurants. Hey, some dog is just like. Took me uh, back a little bit. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause the video now because I wanna go and take some photos of Baka. in the snow I wish this went on for another few days I feel like I have so many I have another two meetings in the afternoon I'm not going to have time to really 
have myself a snow party. It's gonna be melted by the time I'm done with all this stuff. These are the streets running off Baca and uh, then we get towards the German colony which is like the next neighborhood over. This street here leads up to Hebron Road which I've talked about in many videos. I guess these guys are all better equipped with footwear because they're not like kind of 